one of the deadliest vessels on the side of chaos. The conjures dread and their foes is the Terminus Est. This is on the side and fights for Nurgle. It's a pretty strong ship because it was built during the Great Crusade and it has become the flagship of Typhus, the favoured of Grandfather Nurgle. We'll be looking at the effects of the warp on the ship, how it started and how it came into the hands of Typhus. So welcome heretics to another 40k video as we stare into the timeless depths of the warp where all stories are already written. Now witness 40k heretical knowledge. The very name of the ship Terminus Est is a curse upon the lips of Imperial ships. Their captains and commanders both across the Imperium. It has been present at some of the greatest betrayals and bloodiest days in Imperial history. The Chaos Lord Typhus sits upon its command throne, overseeing its filth-encrusted cannon and infected crew. The Terminus Est has become a harbinger of the Plague God, its appearance above a planet heralding disease and ruin for the citizens below. From its bloated launch bays and pustule-studded holds, rusting dropships have vomited down in putrid brown waves. Inside, Death Guard Plague Marines hunch over corroded blades and pitted bolt guns waiting for the chance to carry out the will of Nurgle. More than merely a vessel, the Est is a vile legend and symbol of fear for the people of the Imperium. Even a whisper of the ship's presence in a sector can send planetary governors and system lords screaming to the Imperial Guard and Navy for protection. However, when the Terminus Est darkens the skies of a world, there is little that can save its people, their fate sealed as the terrible attentions of the Plague God fall upon them. And in line with this fear, here's a quote from Fleet Admiral Horst Pallier of Battlefleet Solar, who was removed from his position, we'll say, for heresy. The Terminus Est is an abomination against the Emperor, an open wound that has never healed, a constant reminder of betrayal and treachery. That it still stalks the stars is a dark omen sent by the gods, a reminder that while our lives are fleeting, the power of chaos is forever. The Terminus S was built in the years before the Great Crusade, in the shipyards of Luna. Its unique design was larger and more powerful than any previously constructed pattern, but also more cumbersome. The Emperor created the vessel for his Space Marine Legions, gifting the ship to the Dusk Raiders, later to be known as the dreaded Death Guard. The Terminus Est was a huge battleship, miles in length, with the firepower to lay waste to entire cities. Specially crafted for the Space Marines, it incorporated decks of launch bays capable of carrying hundreds of storm bird dropships. Its distinctive fork prow allowed it to act as both launch bay and gun deck, meaning it could send out assault craft while bombarding a planet from orbit, making it ideally suited to the needs of the Legion. Such was the success of the Terminus S's design that it would be, be later reproduced in great numbers by the Imperium. These coppers were designated the spoiler class and were used extensively for planetary assaults. It would be the influence of its captain Typhon, as Typhus was once known, that would eventually see the Terminus S become a tool for chaos. His own corruption infecting the ship he captured for chaos and one that he captained at the time of his corruption. Typhon's fall to chaos happened before the rest of his legion, before even his Primarch, the promises of Nurgle taking deep root within his soul. When the Death Guard finally sided with Horus, the taint of the plague father had already begun to seep into the hull of the Terminus Est. During the heresy, the vessel made a bloody name for itself, taking a heavy toll on the loyalist fleets and bringing fire and death to dozens of worlds. As part of the Istvan V dropsite massacre, the Terminus Est was central to the first battle that raged above the planet, destroying the Raven Guard flagship Shadow of the Emperor and sending its flaming hull tumbling into the void. The vessel was to be the site of Typhon's transformation to Typhus, from a space marine into a true servant of Nurgle. While returning to Terra, the Terminus Est became becalmed in the warp, utterly at the mercy of the Dark Gods. It was here that the Lord of Decay visited his most virulent gift upon the ship, 
the destroyer plague. The warp-borne disease shook down every soul on board save Typhus, who swelled with the gifts of the Plague Father, becoming his herald and host to the destroyer hive. Perhaps the most famous appearance of the Terminus Est came during the Siege of Terror. By this point in the heresy, the vessel had already begun to change the blessings of the Plague Father firmly upon it. When it appeared as part of the traitor fleet, its hull was teething with rot and decay, rust blood and plasma pus leaking out into space from the corroded seams in its hull. Legend has it that the vessel was the first to bombard the Empress Palace, those initial titanic explosions marking the beginning of the siege, while the Death Guard Primarch Mortarion fought in terror with his legion. In the skies, Typhus commanded the Terminus Est for much of the siege, and when Horus was slain, it was Typhus and the Terminus Est that covered the legion's retreat to the Eye of Terror, and it has haunted the Imperium many times again since that time. In M35, it was spotted for the first time after the heresy, and around the same time, by pure coincidence I'm sure, the Destroyer Plague broke out in the Agrippana sector a wasting disease of terrible and lethal speed. It depopulated a dozen worlds within the space of a month. Each time the shadow of the Terminus Est was sighted lurking at the edge of the affected system. Once the Terminus Est, while in a class of its own, was like other warships of the Imperium, its slab-sided hull festooned with guns, its salmon prow bearing the emblems of the Emperor. However, noting that those in things have long since passed, and that nothing that succumbs to the power of chaos will escape its mutating effects for long. There's even a mighty battleship of the Imperium. Now its ancient bulkheads are held together only by rust. Its corridors are choked by the eternally rotting corpses of its crew, and indescribable foulness drips, oozes and dribbles from its every inch. Where once proud plasteel ceramite and adamantium plates covered its decks, now a living, slick layer of infected flesh dominates. Festering bone shards, rotten fangs and malformed teeth project from every surface. The trapped souls of all those that have served and died upon its decks distort the fleshy walls with their rotten faces screaming and wailing from their pestilent prisons within the hull. Over centuries in the warp it has soaked in the very stuff of chaos. It has become a living thing, its decaying form crawling with Nurgle's minions. The halls and chambers of the Terminus Est have been transformed into a reflection of Nurgle's realm. Bloated flies fill the fetid air, while soapy pus drips down from overhead like warm rain. The repellent twist of things that shamble through this miasma of corruption are barely human anymore, bloated with disease and riddled with weeping sores. These crew tend to the ship's needs feeding decaying corpses into its engines or nurturing its gardens of shining bowels and pustules until they are ready to burst. Only the Death Guard plague marines are un unhindered by the vessel's contagions, marching about its corridors silent and grim as the ship bears them across the stars. However, in truth, the Terminus S needs neither crew nor captain to guide it, having taken on a dark sentience from its demonic patron. The Plague Lord's gifts have also found their way into the gun decks and weapons batteries of the Terminus Est. And where once Macro Cannon hurled vast plasma warheads into the void, now strange and horrific groves take their place. Dribbling sphincters line the side of the ship, periodically belching filth out into space. When an enemy ship comes into range, they spasm and cough out meteoric torrents of caustic debris. Each charge is capable of blinding sensors and burning through the hull of enemy vessels. These warp weapons are just as deadly as any macro cannon or lance turret possessed by the Imperium and make the Terminus Est a deadly opponent. The rotting hull and distended gun decks of the Chaos vessel have fooled more than one Imperial captain. Only when the Imperial warship draws too close to escape does Terminus Est release its full fury, fleshy cannon yawning wide to bathe its foe in a viscous surge of bile. Worse than the catastrophic hull damage the demonic weapons can inflict is the contagion they impart, able to live in the cold emptiness of space or leap through vacuum to infect new hosts. The destroyer plague carried by Typhus and this vessel is capable of killing the crew of a compromised ship in mere hours. 
for the two are very much linked together. The vessel is riddled with the destroyer plague. As its captain is, these buzzing insects form a protective wall around the ship when required, distorting the vessel's shape. You try to dock with it, you'll be enveloped by the warp fly cowed. Typhus almost always captains it, sitting at the helm of the warship, his heavily armoured form hunched atop a throne of rotting bone and skin, the tunnels within him rotted, the funnels of the destroyer hive buzzing with warp flies upon his back. Centuries of void-born warfare have made Typhus a master of ship-to-ship combat, with the added advantage that he shares a symbiotic relationship with the ship he's joined to, and he need not rely on fallible mortal officers or crew. When the battleship appears, it is often at the head of a plague fleet, comprised of dozens of other vessels that have suffered the touch of the Lord of Decay. It is whispered that when a ship's crew suffers from warp-born sickness, the Terminus Est will appear on the edges of its augers. For days, the case vessel will shadow the ship as the infection calls its crew and weakens their resolve. Only when the survivors cry out to Nurgle for salvation will the Terminus Est approach, welcoming them into the service of the Dark Gods. And on that note, friends, in our study of the Terminus S and its Captain Typhus, we will wind down today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments.